In this video, you will learn how to solve this nice exponential equation and it is a maths olympiad question. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics content. Now let's get started. To solve this question, we want you to bear in mind that x to the power of 6 can be represented with uh, x to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 because uh, the power of 6 can be equal to 2 multiplied by what? 3. So that whole equation will give us x to the power of 3, right? Multiplied by 2. And this would be minus x to the power of 3. And this would be equal to 2. Great. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring 2. I'll subtract 2 from both sides. And if I do subtract 2 from both sides, the right hand side will be equal to 0. So I'll be having x to the power of 3, all to the power of 2, minus x to the power of 3, minus 2, and that will be equal to 0 on the right hand side. Now, if you look at this equation very well, you can see that we can simply substitute the value of x to the power of 3 for y. So, let us let the value of our x to the power of 3 to be equal to y. Now, if we do that, we're going to have that equation to become y squared minus y minus 2, and this will be equal to 0. Now, I want you to bear in mind this as we'll be using it, uh, we'll be recalling it as the solutions to this uh, mathematics content of both. Now, we've got in what we call a quadratic equation. Now, we're going to solve this quadratic equation using uh, some simplification method. Now, from this simplification method, you can come to see that if I have a negative 2, right, we have a negative 2 and negative 1, which is negative y. We we'll look for two values. We can multiply. That will give us negative 2. And when we add such two values, we're going to have negative 1. What are those two values? Those two values can be 2 and what? 1. So in this instance, I'm going to assign negative to 2 and I'll assign positive to 1 because uh, minus 2 times plus 1 is equal to negative 2 and minus 2 plus plus 1 will be negative 1 because minus 2 is greater than uh, plus 1. So with that in mind, that equation will now give us y squared, right, minus 2y minus y minus 2, and this will be equal to 0. Rather, this should be plus what? Plus y, and that will be equal to 0. So this equation, from here we can see that y is common, we will bring out y minus 2, right, and this will be plus 1, and this will be what? y minus 2, and this will be equal to 0. So from here, we'll have two values coming out, and the first value is a common value, y minus 2, right, and the second value will be y plus 1, and both of them will be equal to 0. The zero product law. So our uh, y minus 2 will be equal to 0. Or we'll have our uh, y plus 1 to be equal to 0. So from this way, if we add 2 to both sides, our uh, y will be equal to 2, which is a solution to y. And from here, if we subtract 1 from both sides, our uh, y will be equal to negative 1 which is also a solution to the value of y. Now, having gotten this solution, I want us to recall 
that from the initial solution we said x to the power of 3 is equal to 1. So if x to the power of 3 is equal to 1, we're going to find the value of x because that's what we are asked to look for. We're going to ask find the value of uh, x. From here we said uh, x to the power of 3 is equal to y. That's what we should recall. So if y is equal to 2, then that value will give us x to the power of 3 equal to 2, right? So we can simplify that to get the value of x. And to get the value of x, we take the cube root of both sides. So if we take the cube root of both sides, x to the power of 3, that will be equal to the cube root of 2. So cube will clear cube root and then we'll have our x to be equal to the cube root of 2 or this can be equal to 2 to the power of 1 divided by 3. Now recall that if you have n root of a, this can be equal to a to the power of 1 divided by n. That was according to the law of indices. So with this, we have one solution, and the solution is x equal to 2 to the power of 1 divided by 3. And that is what one of the solution for the value of x. Now let's consider the second one. We said our y is equal to negative 1. So for the value of our y equal to negative 1, we'll have our x to the power of 3 to be equal to y. And so we'll have our x to the power of 3 to be equal to negative 1. We're going to simplify to find the value of our x in this instance. So we'll have this to become x to the power of 3. If we add 1 to both sides, the right hand side will be equal to 3. Now recall that 1 to the power of 3 is still equal to 1. So that expression will give us x to the power of 3 plus 1 to the power of 3 and this will be equal to 0. So how do we simplify this? I want you to flash your mind back to an algebraic expression. If we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, that will give us from the algebraic expression a plus b, right, multiplied by a squared minus a b plus b what b square that is an algebraic formula so if we apply that to that expression we are uh, a is equal to x and our b is equal to one We'll find out that that general expression will now give us uh, x to the power of 3 plus 1 to the power of 3 will now be equal to x plus 1, right? And then we'll have our uh, x squared minus 1 times x is equal to x. And that will be equal plus what? 1 square. And this will be equal to 0. So that solution is going to give us x plus 1 multiplied by x square minus x plus 1. And this is equal to 0. 
Now this is the zero product law. And from this zero product law, we can come to see that we have two cases. Uh, x plus one is equal to zero. And case two, we can see that our x squared minus x plus one is equal to zero. Now from case one, if we add one to both sides, we'll find out that this will be x plus one minus one, if we subtract one from both sides, and this will be zero minus one. If this clears this, the value of our x will be equal to negative one. So the value of x over here is negative one. So what do we do? We're going to also find the value of x on this side. This is also a quadratic equation, and we're going to compare this quadratic equation with ax squared plus bx plus c, and this will be equal to zero. Now come to think about this. From this, comparing these two expressions, uh, a is equal to one, our b is equal to negative one and our c is equal to one we're going to solve this using the quadratic formula from the quadratic formula the value of x will be equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so what do we have here? The value of a, our x will be equal to, the value of uh, b is negative multiplied by negative one plus or minus square root of negative one square minus four multiplied by one multiply by another one and all this will be divided by two so what do we have here we're going to have the value of our x to be equal to one plus or minus square root of one minus four divided by two so x will be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of negative 3 right divided by 2 so from this solution you can come to see that the value of x will give us some imaginary solution our x will be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 3 multiply by the square root of negative one and that will be divided by two now recall that the square root of negative one is equal to imaginary so a value of x will now be equal to one plus or minus the square root of three what imaginary divided by two so the value of x will now be equal to one plus square root of three imaginary divided by two, or it can be equal to one minus square root of three imaginary divided by two. So from here, we can see that the values of X for these two expressions are what imaginary solutions. So we are going to neglect them. The only real solution we have for the value of x is x equal to negative one, right? And we also have our x to be equal to two to the power of one divided by three. So we are going to simplify this expression or we're going to check to find out if the solution is correct now the two solutions of x that are real x is equal to 2 to the power of 1 divided by 3 and x is equal to negative 1
Now let's check if these two solutions are true for that exponential equation given to us above. From that exponential equation, we, we are given that the value of x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 with 3 with 2 coming to the other side minus 2 that will be equal to 0. So we want to prove with the value of x equal to 2 to the power of 1 divided by 3 that this whole expression will give us what? 0. Now let's find out. With our value of x equal to 2 to the power of 1 divided by 3, that expression will give us 2 to the power of 1 divided by 3 multiplied by 6 minus 2 to the power of 1 divided by 3 multiplied by the power of 3 minus 2. Will it give us 0? Let's find out. So this expression will give us 2 to the power of 1 divided by 3 multiplied by 6 minus 2 to the power of 1 divided by 3 multiplied by 3 minus 2. What will it give us? This expression will give us 3 here. 1, 3 here will give us 2. Why 3 will clear 3? So this other expression will give us 2 to the power of 2 minus what? Minus 2, right? Minus 2 will it be equal to 0. This is 4 minus 2 minus 2 will it be equal to 0. 4 minus 2 is 2 and 2 minus 2 is 0. So 0 is equal to 0 which tells us that x equal to 2 to the power of 1 divided by 3 is a solution that satisfies that exponential equation. Now let's check the second solution x equal to negative 1. If the value of x is equal to negative 1 then that solution x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 will it give us 0 at the value of x equal to negative 1? Let's check it out. Negative 1 to the power of 6 minus negative, negative 1 to the power of 3 minus 2 will it give us 0? This is going to give us negative 1 to the power of 6 is even so this is going to give us 1 minus negative 1 to the power of 3 is odd so we are going to still have negative 1 and this will be minus what 2 minus times minus will give us plus so this will give us 1 plus 1 minus 2 will it be equal to 0 so this solution is going to give us 2 minus 2 equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 0, which tells us that x equal to negative 1 is also a solution that satisfies that exponential equation we are given above. So the value of x equal to 2 to the power of 1 divided by 3 and x equal to negative 1 satisfy this exponential equation which is given us which is given to us yeah i know you did enjoy watching this mass olympiad solution don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with friends and colleagues and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics olympiad solutions thanks so much for watching and see you next time